Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glitch Kano here today to play some more Halo 4 multiplayer. And this is after I went to another comic and entertainment expo, as the longer form of it. But I, even though it's not technically Comic Con, it is. Because all of the small places in the world, even though Edmonton and Calgary, I guess, are not the smallest in a way, because they still have like over a million people each, I think. But, yeah, Comic-Con. <laughs> so that's probably what I'm going to be talking about, like, the entire time, or just, like, referencing. Because, let's just put this out of the way right now. Silicon Valley, it was a fun game for the N64, but playing it today, it doesn't really play so well. No. <laughs> Mostly just because, like, the controls are not tight enough. They're very, very loose. You're just like, oh, I'm gonna, oh no, I just spun around in circles like 20 times. It's like I'm playing Call of Duty and on the highest sensitivity. And, but then again, even, even then that's nothing compared to Silicon Valley. Oh man, that spins around so fast. Cause you spin me right round. Right round, baby. Anyway. Let's just see. Oh man, Settler. I don't, I don't even have to hesitate on that one. Just Settler all the way. Go, 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 go. I will not stop and- oh! <laughs> it happened again, it happened again. But yeah, still continuing on like playing games that are like old again. That's basically the way of testing. Like if things hold the test of time in the way of controls. Cause graphics don't really matter to me much, but if the game plays terribly, <laughs> then, then that's a bit of a problem. Like that would be the one problem that Perfect Dark would have at least on the N64 is that like the frame rate, but meh. I need to cough, so <coughs> that sounded amazing. <coughs> but uh, let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What just happened there? Did you, did you just see that? <laughs> it just—it was counting down, and then all of a sudden, just like screen freeze, activate, and so on. That was really weird. But, I was just wanting to see what team I'm on, and so on. Because I'm on a, a team with a guy named, like, Object Jackpot Boot. 1995. I, I don't know. Like, how would you even say that? Object Boot. It is actually an Object Boot. It's just... Possibly in a different language, and possibly... Completely and utterly broken, and partially leet. Because... If you're spelling things with K's, you are the leetest of people in the world. Uh, yeah, I think I used my gunner for this. I don't, even though I'm playing on blue team. That's the complete wrong... You know, I say that's the complete wrong thing, but no, not really, actually. Uh... Oh, Somebody knew my strategy. I can't believe it. The game has changed. Partially. Sort of, but not entirely. But yeah, now... Okay, so they have the Mantis, and also rockets, and also everything else in the world. Oh no, this other guy's probably gonna get me splash killed. Oh boy. I just do to save you. <laughs> yes, that's right. I want to save you a lot. <laughs> but it's kind of difficult when you are rubbing up against me like that. It's, it scares me ever so. What? Uh, did I die from rockets there, or what? Or from that guy again? He somehow sniped around the corner, because he's very good at playing pool. Oh! I actually- I need to be the driver of this thing. Um... Let's go! Okay, that guy doesn't feel like shooting anymore. Um, instead, I will be a human battering ram. Or should I say Spartan battering ram, but... Same difference. Other than the fact, you know what, <laughs> doing things that way. Oh, using a warthog as cover, and then I run. Because <laughs> I, I bet the like in. I was thinking in a second there they were gonna throw grenades, so I was thinking ahead, planning for the failure that there was to come. Oh no! I'm just gonna scare this guy if nothing else. Still. That's always the plan. Scaring, because Halloween is coming up. Or it already happened. That's always a possibility, too. Um, you never really know with 
the way things work. You only ever know when they happen. Because they just creep up on you just like, uh, all the different various events that I have to be talking about on remotes. Oh, man. I need to fix those things at some point, probably. Actually, what am I doing? I need the Magnum. Magnums are good. Oh, like this! <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I guess that's not a very good showcase of the Magnums right there, but... It's really weird, though, like, just having to know about different, like, school event type things, if you want to call it a school, even though it's a college. It's still school, all, all in all, if you think about it. Because school just designates that it's a place of learning. But... Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. But still, like, um... Yeah, I actually have to know different events with, like, the students' union and stuff like that. And I... I just promote them without them knowing. Which I would want... I really want to know their reactions to, like, all the... Grenades that are getting thrown at my face. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm just gonna do this. Hey, guys! <laughs> just gonna... Laser them. Laser them right... In the leg! Oh. Okay, time to run now. <laughs> and hopefully, shield, 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 shield! Yes! There we go. It's Mantis time. See, I think that's probably the best strategy on this map, is just, like, stay in the main building until, like, good things happen. Because you gotta just... You gotta wait for the Mantis to come back, because it, all, it inevitably blows up within the first 20 seconds. Probably from a laser or something of that sort. I gotta... I really need to recharge. Recharge and reload. Oh, I see you there, Ed Boon, or something like that. I think that's actually the guy's name of uh, the person that makes like Mortal Kombat. It's like the main director of it. Oh, you want to do this? <laughs> that works. I think that guy was uh, planning on taking that banshee and hightailing it to New Mexico. Oh no! Oh! Okay, they, that was a joint effort right there. That was definitely a joint effort. Okay, where's where's my corpse? The carcass must be taken. Yes. And now, vengeance will be made very quickly and discreetly. Okay, well, I, I could go in there with that guy, or I could just be a vengeful person, which I am, so... I, I choose vengeance. Um, <laughs> if he really wants to melee me, I'll, I'll let him melee me with 100% health. <laughs> Pretty much, or whatever I had. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a close call. Not, I mean, maybe a little bit. Maybe if I was flying to the moon, that would have been close, but when I am on the earth, or wherever this is, let's see. I'm gonna say this is Gavin 4. <laughs> yes. I don't know. <laughs> I, I always consider, like, should I waste a laser on one person? Hmm. Hmm, oh well. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not foolish. Well, at least I won't be foolish today. Um. Yes, and no. <laughs> um. Okay. I don't know what he was really had in mind there, but I think I actually I'm gonna use some lasers on people here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna retreat. Actually, that would be a very smart idea here. Oh, because oh, but I still have a laser. That's what I just thought of now. Because I have I have a few shots left with laser, which is. Maybe not the best thing to be giving to them, but I don't have a very high chance of life here. I have to ask Fee from Skyward Sword to tell me my odds of living, and she'd probably say I have like a 86.539% chance of dying. I don't understand it, but that's just the way Fee likes her numbers. Very weird and distraction-ish and a waste of time. Mm, I'll take it. Why not? Even though this doesn't usually end too well. Oh, okay, so you can just hold down the... Okay, there's a laser there! No! Uh. 
This is not gonna end well. Yes. For him, that is. <laughs> but yeah. Now I'm just gonna have to clean up. Time to be the cleanup crew. Clean up on Isle Mantis. It's it's kind of hard to miss because the Mantis is kind of a big stompy mech. So yeah. Let me guess what's happening over here. Oh no! I just noticed my ordinance is gone. Oh. I had way better ordinance before. Now I have nothing. Although I could go supersonic, say in time. Yes! <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was a thing or. I thought that I hit this tree too. That tree felt my vengeance very hard. And it probably felt a little bit warm, if nothing else. But trees are immortal on this planet of Yavin 4. Because that's definitely where we are. So. That's always something to be considering when I'm boosting to my death. You can take my weapons if you want. Just make sure that the enemy doesn't have it. Or I'll just grab it again anyway. Because you gotta have a laser. That's not a laser. Uh, there's a laser. Oh no. Um. <laughs> I think it's grenade time. Because they're littering the environment with grenades and just shrapnel. They better pick up all those little pieces of shrapnel after the army's done with this place. There we go. I probably shouldn't, like, have got the kill there. The other guy that was killing should have, but... Oh. Oh no. Why'd I do that? Ugh. Time to run. Okay. I probably shouldn't have wasted that so early, but... Yes! <laughs> My one shot that I had... Oh no. No! I'll kill them all! Don't you even dare go into the Mantis! <laughs> Don't make me destroy it! Okay, I'll destroy it. No! No! Ow! Oh, <laughs> come on! Just give me some time on my own. To take out the day. Okay, well, my new plan, since that didn't really work so well, but we... Oh, we only have 10 kills. Well, 11 kills, but... Eh, you gotta round it. Rounding is the spice of life. Well, at least that's what I've heard from many people. They don't... They don't say anything else other than rounding. Because rounding is apparently really good. Yep. Okay. I don't... I don't think I'm running at my top speed, am I? It seems really slow. <laughs> I mean, I am running like as fast as like a regular Spartan would be running Anyway, but I seem really slow. Oh Guys, let me do the five kills all on my own And I'll get the oh no, I don't know what that guy has, but it looks It looked like it was a big gun. Oh, I'll get this guy Um. Hello <laughs> Yes I dance on his grave. Uh, oh no, I... Oh, it's, it's going over here. Oh, I wanted to, like, super fast teabag him. Teabagans. <laughs> I still love that name. That, uh... I don't know who actually made that. Like, it, it would probably be impossible to trace at this point who started the teabagans. But... Bilbo, he knew what he was doing when he made that James Earl Jones tea. I always think of, like, James Earl Jones when I think of T. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of, like, Earl Grey. He probably has gray hair by now. Yeah, he, well, he, at least he should be, so... He's Earl Grey. It makes sense. Trust me, it does. But, let's see how... Well, I died... I died seven times? I don't remember that happening, but... Plus seven, I guess that's okay. I only was a 2.0. Only a 2.0 on that. So... I guess, uh, improvements on that would be, don't run up and kill myself. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> don't run up and kill yourself. It's a lesson, uh, to be learning from Queen. Keep yourself alive. Keep yourself alive. It's a good song. 